Hi guys, this is Ocean, and today we'll be taking a look at how Belbreth performs in the Monster Legends meta. Belbreth is an insanely fast fire support who uses extra turns to support her allies. She doesn't have an evolving trait, but it is pretty good. It's tough with status caster anticipation, which means that negative status effects have a 35% less accuracy against her, and she has anticipation as a status caster. I've got Belbreth to level 100, so let's take a look at how she does. We'll first do three battles in the adventure map and then three battles in the dungeons. That said, let's get into the adventure map. These nemesis battles are a bit hard, so let's go back to one of the earlier islands. So let's go back to this one. So this is the team I will use, which consists of Centurion, Belbreth, and Amphidator. Let's fight. And this is the moveset I've chosen for Belbreth, which consists of Aviary Fur, Flying Disruptor, Mana Bird, and Butterfly Feathers. Choose Aviary Fur to remove all negative status effects from one ally, and extra turn to herself. Flying Disruptor to remove positive status effects from one enemy, and extra turn to herself. Mana Bird to block out 50% of the incoming damage and damage boosts, and extra turn to herself. And Butterfly Feathers to apply a hydrophobic shield to all allies and this doesn't give an extra turn to herself because I need something uh, if there's an anticipator in the other team then that won't really be good for Belbra. So we'll go with Mana Bird to block out 50% of the incoming damage and damage boost. We'll go with Butterfly Feathers to block out everything except the water element. I'll go with Infected Spores Blow I'll go with Neural Network Carols, and probably the Torturers will kill off Rock Druid. And we'll do two more battles in the adventure map. So we'll go with, once again, Mana Bird. We don't need butterfly feathers, so we'll just recharge. This time we'll go with poison splash. We'll go with neural network carols. Now since Centurion is dazed, we can uh, use Aviary Fur to remove that. And we'll go with uh, Butterfly Feathers to apply a Hydrophobic Shield. We'll go with Infected Spores Blow. And we'll go with Workshop Heuristics to end the battle. And we'll do one more battle in the adventure map. We'll go with Apiary Fur to remove Ignite from Centurion. We'll go with Mana Bird to block out 50% of the incoming damage. And we'll go with Butterfly Feathers for a, for a Hydrophobic Shield. We'll go with Infected Spores Blow. We'll go with Workshop Heuristics. We'll recharge. Go with Poison Splash to end this wave, and there's one more wave.
Uh, these are Hellborn and Lepidon. So we'll go with a very far. That won't actually work. So we'll recharge. Both spores injection. We'll go with neural network arrows. Now since Platodon has a shield, we'll go with Flying Disruptor to remove that shield. And we'll go with Butterfly Feathers for a Hydrophobic Shield. We'll go with Infected Spores Blow to take care of Hellborn. We'll go with Jingle Bell Cars to heal Centurion. We'll recharge. And we'll go with Poison Splash to end the battle. And now we'll do three battles in the dungeon. And once again, let me change up my team. Let me change this to uh, Centurion. Let me change this to Bellbreath. And let me change this to Amphidator. Now let's fight. So we'll go with butterfly feathers for a hydrophobic shield. We'll go with infected spores blow. So we'll go with neural network carols. We'll go with mana bird. Uh, we'll go with Wooden Recharge and we'll go with Poison Splash to end the battle. And we'll do two more battles in the dungeons. So, on to the next one. This time we'll go with Mana Bird for damage boost and Butterfly Feathers to get a Hydrophobic Shield. We'll go with Poison Splash. We'll go with Neural Network Carols. Uh, since Roar has regeneration, we'll just take care of that with Flying Disruptor. And we'll recharge. And we'll go with Infected Spores Blow to end the battle. And we'll do one last battle in the dungeons. So we'll go with Mana Bird for a damage boost. And uh, this time we'll just recharge. Since we don't need a Hydrophobic Shield. We'll go with Infected Spores Blow. And Neural Network Carols. Now we're in a kind of strange place here, so let's go with Aviary Floor to remove the stun from Centurion. 
We'll go with the Flying Disruptor to remove the shield. We'll go with Mana Bird to uh, block out 50% of the incoming damage, but mainly the next turn. We'll go with another Flying Disruptor. We'll go with the Aviary Tour. But this really won't work because we're left with barely any stamina, so we'll recharge. We'll go with Poison Splash. And the Torturers will probably end battle. Yep. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate Belbreath a 9 out of 10, because she is a very good monster. She has a great life and speed for a support. She has a control immunity skill with zero cooldown. She can apply Hydrophobic Shield to her team. Uh, her, she can apply 50% damage block plus damage boost plus extra turn. She can negative effect remove and positive effect remove. She has mainly low stamina cost, which is good for an extra turner, and she has a great trait. But there are some cons, which uh, which brings her down to that one extra point, which is uh, she has moderate cooldowns. Anticipation pretty much destroys her, so opposing Belbreath are a good option. Uh, she is pretty much helpless if her allies are defeated. She has a bad special, which is just... Uh, area fire weakness and moderate fire damage and uh, anticipation is only a status caster but other than that Belbreath is a great monster and I would recommend her for everyone even pros with that said I hope you guys liked this video if you did like this video leave a like down below and if you like a lot of my videos consider subscribing that's it for me for now and I'm out